Hey guys, I have done three quadrants of my hair for the sake of time. Before applying the mask, I actually cleansed my hair with Afogee's Curlific Textured Hair Wash. It's almost like you can't see it. I don't know if that even helps. Up oh, there it is. It's a little backwards, but there it is. Anyway, I cleansed my hair first. You know I don't like dipping my head in and out of water, but this will only be two times. And I wanted to cleanse my hair first so that it can go ahead and accept the henna. And right now I'm focusing on all strands. You know, we always say focus on the ends, be sure to focus on the ends. But truth be told, you need to remember all parts of your hair. Um, first of all, the hair grows out of the scalp. We don't want to take for granted that you know everything is cool up there at the scalp you want to nourish that as well so let's just focus on all areas of our hair and not forget the ends or the roots so i'm just putting the lip i mean yeah generous amount i'm almost running out of it i hope i have enough to finish this other piece if not i'm just gonna roll with it just rolling with it. <clears throat> I expected it to look more clayish, but it is not clay. So, if you haven't already seen my recipe for this, go ahead and check it out. Um, just click on the card up here and check out the recipe. You can actually do whatever herbs that you like that your hair really responds to well. This particular recipe, I'm featuring uh, Cornerstone Skins 30 plus, well, the Henna Blend 30 plus herbs because I wanted to just try the product out. Like, I did do a first impressions video. I didn't call it first impressions, but I used it once, and that was my first impression of it. And so now I want to use it in this capacity. And the first time I actually did... Um, I follow the directions as as it stated. I'm scraping the bottom. Get that spoon, girl. <laughs> so after I finish applying the rest of this, um, the gloss, I'm going to wrap my hair in plastic and then cover it with my hot head heating thermal cap. And I'm just gonna keep it on for 15 to 30 minutes. Lick the ball clean. <laughs> I actually thought I was going to have more than I needed, but not the case. If you decide to um, mix your own, like I started to mix my own with Shikai Kai, Amla, and the henna powder. Just know that it's messy and that henna powder can stain. Now this particular mix does not stain. Um, it doesn't die. I noticed that and it also says that on the website. So you're good to go. Okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and um, put my heat cap on and then afterwards I'm going to just do a typical um, co-wash deep condition and I will return. Or am I returning? Yes, I am returning. Okay, I'll see you soon.